Tobacco firms say one bill save one billion dollars with kitty litter in their cigars. A dozen tobacco companies have gained have gained from a legal loophole that allows them to, that, that help them avoid the one point one billion dollars U.S. taxes. Their secret: using fillers such as clay found in kitty litter, uh, and and or stuffing the product with more tobacco to tip the scales in their favor. Um, you know, according to the, the ta- tobacco bureau at the IRS, if you meet the definition of a large cigar, then you're a large cigar. There's nothing in the uh, internal re- internal revenue tax code that go that specifies how it weighs how the weight's achieved. Now, what makes it interesting is the cigar smoke is the leading preventable cause of death in the United States. Um, continues an 11 year downward trend. Large cigars, by the way, have tripled um, in people, more people smoke them if, if sixfold. According do to more CDC. people smoke them or do more people buy them? I think it's a little bit of both because I think there's a lot of people that aren't actually buying and actually smoking the cigars like you're buying them for a friend or they're buying them to um put other things in the cigar wrapper oh so like they're not it. smoking all the crap in them because they're so they want to so you're marijuana. saying so you're saying you're throwing out to smoke weed yeah so or, like i think dutch garage. masters is probably like the you know leading cigar like a lot of people smoke more people smoke pot that i would say are cigar aficionados so i would say that you know smoke a dutchie yeah I don't smoke a Dutchie America. I don't believe in the marijuana, but all those that do, I support you, and I think we should have, we should legalize it, for the record. So I think that's part of it, and I think, so if you're filling those with filler and crap, I don't think it's, like, the worst thing in the whole world. Knowing people probably aren't going to smoke them, but then people do still smoke them, so I think it's pretty evil. I agree with you. It's really disgusting. Really disgusting. I agree with you. Um, I mean, I think the other thing here, uh, and more importantly to point out, is that the broader conversation here is, is that the, the, the groups that focus on, you know, band, like cigarettes, the cigarette cessation groups, the Moms Against Smoking and MAD and all those organizations, not MAD, oh, I take that back, that's Moms Against Drunk Driving, right. um, but like the D.A.R.E. and all those programs. There's more about drugs than smoking. Yeah, they're about, but like they've, they've made, they've made well, the moral of the story is they've sort of demagogued cigarette smoking so much that maybe that's the reason for the shift, or the, the, the statistical shift of people smoking cigars now because they think they're healthier, quote unquote, than cigarettes. I could see that. And like cigars, you can go to a cigar bar and you can, you know, partake with friends it seems really classy cigarettes more and more are getting the um you know the look that they're a white trashy kind of like eh thing no i completely agree with you i completely agree with you um you know i think i mean that's why i don't smoke america my two producers who are white i guess possibly trashy they smoke we also sleep very little so it kind of helps even really out there. i don't know about that I, I don't think that's an excuse for smoking cigarettes like, you know. It helps the uh, quick reactions on the board. Well, I mean, I think the broader question is, because I don't know, why do you smoke cigarettes? Um, because they're mellow and wonderful. No, because I'm addicted to smoking cigarettes. I smoke like six cigarettes a day. They calm my nerves. They give me three minutes where it's my own time a day. I like it. It's, it's, it's good. Six a day? Okay. R- Rich is now laughing from there. It could be more like He 10 smokes to more than six a day. He smokes it's 10 under to a pack. Cig- like, I'm not, you know. So he smoke, but I mean, like, I guess because of the nicotine, you're, you have an addiction problem. I guess you could say that. Okay, you heard that here, America. Smoking is an addiction. Yeah. Even though the um, heads of all the tobacco companies for years and years and years wouldn't admit that nicotine was addictive. Which was really funny. I remember that with all of them stood up in line, with all eight of them were like, "I mean, it's we don't believe Nick needs to dick." That was like 1992. I mean, everybody has their own vices. I mean, I like to, I like to drink. Um, I like to drink a little bit too. But I mean, I just understand. I mean, I guess the moral of the story here is, is that you know, so when you buy tobacco, when you buy cigarettes, and you buy cigars, you pay a yeah, sin tax. That's gross. You know, you pay a sin tax on. Right. You know, the consumer does, but again, allegedly, I guess you know the the big corporations they found a way to escape 1.1 billion dollars.